The President Donald Trump is in a rage following a massive plunge in the stock market on Sunday and then again on Monday. Now, on Sunday, the market tanked over coronavirus fears. Um, and on Monday, the Dow Jones plunged 1,800 points within the first about five minutes uh, of the opening bell after OPEC was unable to reach an agreement with Russia and other allies, leading Saudi Arabia to cut prices and ramp up production, which, of course, again, uh, a decline in oil prices, right? So, look, let me just say this, right? What are we doing on fossil fuels? Why? D does anybody else think it's completely ridiculous that literally one country can destroy our economy over oil? Possibly launch us into a recession because they decide, no, I'm not going to agree to that. I, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Get off fossil fuels already. Get off fossil fuels. All right. Anyway, now following Sunday's fall, the president took shots at Chuck Schumer, called him crying Chuck Schumer, um, the media and the Democrats. Shocker. Right. Uh, now, let me sh uh, read you a couple of these tweets here. Um, the fake news media and their partner, the Democrat Party, is doing everything within its semi considerable power. It used to be greater to inflame the coronavirus situation far beyond what the facts would warrant. And he quotes his own Surgeon General, the risk is low to the average American. Hmm. Actually, uh, let's be honest, the risk here is actually greater. Why? Because we don't have socialized medicine. We don't have a universal health care system. We'd also, we also don't have paid leave sick, leave, sick leave for anybody, right? Now, now, I'm seeing on social media, and it's actually not a bad idea, UBI coming back up, right, for people who have to self-quarantine, right? Hey, not a bad idea. Donald Trump could uh, actually do something positive and go, you know what we're going to do? Uh, for for everybody dealing with coronavirus, guess what? We're just going to give you $1,000 a month uh, until this whole thing is, you know, fixed, right? Until, until everything is back to normal, right? At least that would be something. Instead, Donald Trump, what? He gives tax cuts to airlines. And, and other transportation. I, I mean, it's ridiculous, right? Okay, so, but anyway, um, look, people, and, and, and the reason that socialized medicine would help is because people could actually go to a doctor. Right now, people can't afford to go to a doctor. People can't afford the $3,000 coronavirus testing kits at the, at, at the, at the hospital. I, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's stupid. All right, more. Uh, he's going to talk now about Obama and Biden. I, I know, I know, bringing it up again. This is the Obama-Biden administration. It's the most corrupt administration in the history of our country. No, no. You know, that would be yours. The Obama-Biden administration is about as corrupt as all the others that preceded it. Mildly corrupt. You know, bankers in the administration, rich people, I mean, policy. That's normal. That's par for the course, right? We know that already. It is the systemic corruption that Trump has not only failed to do anything about, you know, the whole drain the swamp thing, uh, but he's actually added to the swamp. More. He uh, He's quoting somebody from MSNBC saying, Trump has outmastered the deep state. He's light years ahead of us. And he says, MSDNC, I disagree. We have a long way to go. There are still some very bad, sick people in our government. People who do not love our country. In fact, they hate our country. Hate it. Oh, you, you know what? He is actually right. There are some very bad, very sick people in our government that are... Look, you know what? I'm just going to leave it up to you to figure out who that one is. <laughs> he then went after... And this is, this is the most galling part. He now went after the Democrats over Bernie Sanders. He said, Now the Democrats are trying to smear Bernie with Russia, Russia, Russia. They're driving him crazy. Okay, you, you want to talk about broken clocks, right? Fair enough. Of course. Yes, the Democratic Party has been going after Bernie Sanders with Russia, 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 right? Uh, that's absolutely true. But like anything, 
He is, does not care about Bernie Sanders or Bernie voters. No, no, no. He's trying to use this as his advantage. He's trying to get Bernie Sanders voters to stay home, right? Or, or vote for him. At newsflash, that ain't happening. And also to get centrists more against Bernie by saying, oh, look at that. Donald Trump is defending Bernie Sanders. They must be the same thing. No, that is equally as brainwormy as, uh, you know, not as not as, as like staying home or voting for Donald Trump. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Look, Trump, again, doesn't care at all about Bernie Sanders. No, he's scared of Bernie Sanders. He knows that he would lose. He knows he'd lose if Bernie became the nominee. It is apparent. But one thing, again, Donald Trump is very good at is he's, he can play the media. The media hates Bernie Sanders. The establishment hates Bernie Sanders and will report this as, oh, look, they're both the same. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Bernie Sanders, same as Donald Trump. Look, they're even defending each other. Look at that. Bernie bad, Trump bad, the same. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely asinine. All right. Uh, now, what's funny is that one of the responses to it uh, was from Tommy Kambachar, uh, who said, quote, you should stop the concern trolling which is what this is. You will be defeated soundly on November 3rd if Bernie is the nominee. And of course, look, polls back that up. <laughs> they show Bernie Sanders beating Trump by the widest margin. In fact, uh, look, it, this is not a presidential primary poll. This is, a, this is a hypothetical general election matchup here in Michigan, right? Bernie Sanders beats Trump 46-43. Biden ties 43-43. But you know what? In the primary, you know who's winning, uh, leading in the Michigan primary? Biden by nearly 15 points. The guy who ties with Donald Trump in, in national polling. You've got that guy that is, is leading in these primary states. I mean, it's almost as if they want, they, we just want to lose. It's almost the Democrats want to lose. I mean, that's all they're good at doing. Losing to Republicans, even the most monstrous ones. We got the Democrats that are like, oh, hey, are we going to win an election? Oh, no, we'd rather, we'd rather lose this election than actually get a progressive. So let's just throw this damn thing away and, uh, Go for another one, another four years of Trump. I mean, our wallets are are pretty stable, right? It's pretty good. I mean, sucks if you have a 401k in the stock market right now, but whatever, whatever. Trump also had one more tweet after this massive sell-off. He said, good for consumer. Gasoline prices going down. So what, you, you're just going to ignore that massive slide? Then I, th I thought that was the linchpin of your economy is bragging about the stock market. Well, he's not done yet. He, he instead uses this to blame media. He says Saudi Arabia and Russia are arguing over the price and flow of oil. That and the fake news is the reason for the market drop. Jesus Christ. You know what's funny, though? If we had 100% renewable energy, we wouldn't have to worry about this at, at all. There wouldn't even be a market drop. Nothing that Saudi Arabia could do would affect the stock market whatsoever. But no, no, we, we, have, to, we have to be on fossil fuels. We got to double down on oil and gas. Even our Democrats, with the exception of Bernie Sanders and, and maybe Tom Steyer, we're all about, oh, no, let's get off fossil fuels as soon as possible. Joe Biden doesn't get off fossil fuels until... 2050. I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous. And so not only that, but the, he's also cut investment to things like solar and wind. And now it comes to bite him in the ass, along with the administration's really, really poor reaction to the COVID-19 coronavirus. All of this shows that, Bur that Donald Trump is not a leader. He would rather blame other people, mainly his political enemies, of course, for his own problems and exploit the fight, the very real fight, between the establishment and progressives for his own political gain instead of doing what he's supposed to do is lead on these issues. So 
look, <laughs> it's because he doesn't care about leading. He just wants to have his ego stroked. And as you've seen throughout the years, when he doesn't get it, he lashes out like a baby. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.